Hello everyone, my name is Sunakshi Sinha and I work as a senior manager in the data privacy and legal team at Trispro India. Today in this video we are going to discuss about child consent, data processing of a child and data processing of a person with disability. So let's try to understand how we can process the data of a child or how we can process the data of a person with disability when we are acting as a data fiduciaries. Now whenever we are processing any personal data of a child or a data of the person with disability we need to obtain consent of the legal guardian. The legal guardian should give their verifiable consent in order uh, in order to, uh, for us to start processing the data of a child or the person of, uh, with a disability. Now it is the mandate to have consent of the legal guardian, a verifiable consent of the legal guardian and before we obtain such consent we should not be using any data of the child or person with disability. The second very important point when we are considering the child data is that we should not be processing the child data in a manner that can have some detrimental effect on the child's well-being. So when, whenever we are playing the role of a data fiduciary and we are processing the data of the child, we should be very careful that we should not be processing any data in a manner that can have detrimental effect on the child's well-being. The third very important point to keep in mind when we are processing any kind of data of a child is that we should not be doing any target advertising for the child. So target advertising is something that is not allowed under the act. We should not have target advertising towards the child and behavioral tra tracking also is not allowed under the act. So behavioral tracking and targeted advertisement towards the child is something that we should not be doing as a data fiduciary. Also because child or a person with disability is someone who doesn't understand what can be done with the data, it becomes very important for us to, as a data fiduciary to be very cautious with collecting of consent so that somebody who understands that what can be done with the child data or what how we are going to process the child data or how we are going to process the data of the person with disability can give their consent after understanding what we are going to do as a processing when we are saying that we we will be processing the personal data of the child what we are going to do with the data is something very important for them to understand so it is very important for us to obtain any kind of legal guardian verifiable consent so that we as a data fiduciary don't fall under any problems because a child will not understand uh, why their data is being used and they give consent and in case this happens we as a data fiduciary will not be able to protect ourselves so it becomes very important for us to obtain these consents these verifiable consents from the data fiduciary so as a data fiduciary our responsibility is higher when we are processing any kind of child data it is higher when we are providing any kind of services to a child so it is important for us as a data fiduciary to be very cautious and without any consent without the proper consent uh, and a consent mechanism towards child consent we should not be doing any kind of processing for that matter also central government has is of opinion that they can reduce the child age from 18 to below if in case they are very much strongly believe that okay the age of the child below can be below 18 in case a data fiduciary is processing the data in a proper manner then in that case the child Age is also a very important aspect that we should keep in mind. We should always have our eye on who will be considered as a minor or who will be considered as a child. Is it a, a, a anybody age below the age of 18 be considered as a child or is it some other age limit that has been set by the central government. So it becomes very important again for us to understand 
and to keep a eye on the age limit that is notified by the central government so as a data fiduciary for us it is important to keep an eye on the uh, age limit also it is very important for us to obtain the verifiable consent from a legal guardian of the child or of the pers de uh, person with disability i hope this was a uh, interesting topic and also something that uh, gave you an insight about how we should process the data of a child in case you have any queries on any of the topics related to your india dpdp act you can write to us on our email id or you can comment in this um, comment in this video we will be able to answer any of your queries that comes to us as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video